What's going on guys? I've got this 2006 Honda Civic here and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the fuel pump fuse, the fuel pump relay. I'm also gonna show you the location of the main relay, which is important for the fuel pump to even work. So to start with, we're gonna access the fuel pump relay, which we get to by pulling this cover out. As you can see, the cover is retained by a number of these uh, plastic clips that go into the slots here. Now looking down into this opening, we can see the fuel pump relay right here. When this relay energizes, it takes power from the fuel pump fuse and sends it to the fuel pump itself. The fuel pump fuse is gonna be fuse number two, which is this blue 15 amp fuse right here. So you can pull this out and inspect it. That is what a good fuse looks like. And this fuse in turn receives power from the main relay whenever the engine is running or when you're attempting to start the car. So let's take a quick look at that main relay because it's something that can also fail and cause your car to not start. It's behind this cover here, which we remove by pushing in on the tab here and here and lifting up. The main relay is gonna be this relay right here, also known as the PGM FI number one relay. And it receives power from this 15 amp fuse right here. Now let's take a look at accessing the fuel pump itself. So to do so, you'll need a 12 millimeter uh, socket and ratchet. We're gonna get to it through the trunk first. So with the trunk open, you may have some uh, carpeting here, but it's already gone on this vehicle. Uh, we can see the very back of the access cover. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing here to get the seat to fold forward. This will help me later when I move inside the car because I actually have to remove this portion of the seat. But while I'm here in the trunk, I'll go ahead and use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws in the back here. You may have noticed I've got them pre-loosened a little bit. And I'll remove these two 12 millimeter bolts. Now let's move inside the car. And please keep in mind this procedure may be a little different if you've got a four door model. All right, so I've got this seat forward a bit. I can peel this upholstery aside and remove this other 12 millimeter screw. Then what I have to do is push down on the seat and that will allow me to rotate, rotate that bracket to the rear. At this point, I can just grab this seat and just kind of pull it out. There is no screw on the other side. It is instead retained by this little nub going inside of that receiver there. So setting the top portion of the seat aside, we can see the rest of the screws. There's another 12 millimeter right here. And there should be another 12 millimeter here, but it's missing on this car. Now with the bracket up, we're almost there. We've just got two more Phillips screws. And you don't have to remove the bottom part of the seat. Although if you want to, you can, uh, you just grab the bottom here and pull up, do that on either side, and then you should be able to pull it out. Now with all these screws removed, this cover will sometimes be on there pretty good. Sometimes you have to pry it out, but this one's been removed before, so it just comes up easily. So that's gonna expose the fuel pump. Now let's take a look at the wiring. So we're gonna disconnect this by pushing in on this tab and lifting up. So with this part of the connector up, the upper left portion receives power from the fuel pump relay when it's energized. The lower left portion receives a constant ground at all times. So uh, that's how you can check the circuit there. 
And uh, if you determine that you're getting power and ground here, but the fuel pump's not providing any pressure, you can actually remove the fuel pump through this access. Uh, you just have to disconnect the lines. Let's see if I can get this one off. So yeah, it's a little bit much for me to do one-handed, but you get the idea. So yeah, I hope that all this information was helpful for you and a good starting point in troubleshooting your Honda Civic. If you have any questions about the fuel pump here, please let me know. Or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the fuel pump circuit uh, or fuel pump operation on the Honda Civic, uh, please chime in below. We appreciate it. And thanks for watching.